Yo! What's going on, you beautiful bastards? I need to stop calling you bastards. In fact, I need to stop swearing before YouTube delete my channel. That's what they're doing now for swearing. Yeah, we gotta be careful of the YouTube. I probably look like a little rabbit then. But forget that. Let's get straight into the Arsenal career mode. You didn't see that coming, did you? You didn't see it coming, let's be honest. As you can see though, we're top of the table with 12 points. Let's go get some more. <laughs> Goal difference though, eight goal difference plus eight, not minus eight. And Arsenal are at the top of the league for the very first time in a very long time. Only two points difference between Arsenal and Leicester and United though. Only two points, and then four points difference between us and Everton and Stoke and Chelsea. This could be a close season. Not on my books though, as you can see, I have changed up my squad a lot. Walcott's been getting a load of goals, Bale's been getting a load of goals, so has Wildback, so I've started that front three up top, dropping Griezmann and Sanchez. Could be a huge decision. I've also dropped out Ozil for Cohen Aglu, so Ozil is fresh for the next game. We've got Ramsey dropping into midfield instead of Kazola. Shaka in the middle as well. Mertesacker coming in for Kashani to team up with Mustafi. Debushi staying in right back as Bellerin recovers from his injury. He's actually recovered, but I want to play Debushi because he played a good game last game. We've got Monreal in left back, checking goal. Hopefully, we can win this game. Let's go get Stoke. supposed to take that. What's going on? Oh god. Oh god, huge gap in the middle. What's he done there? He probably should have gone for go that's why. That is why. For the first time in this series we've gone 1-0 down and now we have to show we've got team spirit and come back into the game. I don't know what's going on there. He should have started first time. He's passed it. He's come back into him though. He's got his chance and Bojan makes it 1-0 Stoke. And they're stoked. Just gonna play this one across there. Debussy to Ramsey. Oh, we'll find Monreal in the middle. Monreal! Portland with the save. What a goal that could have been. Go on, Bale. Come on, Bale. There we go. Gareth. Supporting the centre. Come on, glue back out to Gareth. Maybe get a cross in here. Oh, that's a good cross. Shaka, man! What is he doing? How can he not score from there? I could have scored that. For God's sake, man. He's missed so many headers for me in the box. Oh, God. It's crossed. Check with the save. Only as far as Shakiri. Here's Johnson. Oh, God. I've stuck my foot in. It's 2 0. He's not that good. What's going on there, mate? He's playing as a number eight. He's not that good. Come on, man. Oh, I can't get past him. We've still got the ball though. Uh, on the left, Theo Walcott, make the run, mate. Break, make the run. Oh, we've got a run in the centre. There we go. Come on, Aglu. Make it 2 1. There we go. We're back in the game. We are back in the game. Lovely run from Cohen Aglu. I was looking for Walcott. I just see the run out of the blue. Monreal finds him. He cuts inside. Bang. Come on, here we go. Wilshire with the chance to make a difference. Bale into the middle. Well back. He's going to find Cohen Aglu. Oh, his needy made a huge difference. He could have scored the two goals of the game there for us. Plays it into Walcott. Walcott's got support there from Lucas Perez. He's got support in the centre from Ramsey. Can look in the centre as well. Oh, it's just gone over. What a chance. I probably should have turned them all off for fake shot. And then hit it with my right foot. Cohen Aglu. Come on, Bale. Whipping a good cross for me. Where's my keeper? Get my keeper up there. It's into the box. Mertesacker. What a save from Jack Butland. That is why we wanted him at the squad. Mertesacker. Oh my God, what a save. 
What a save. We could have had a point from this game if it wasn't for Jack Butland. And that is full time. Our first loss in the Premier League goes to Stoke City. They must be stoked with the result, let's be honest. But two big goals from Bojan and Shakiri. No, it wasn't Shakiri. It was Glenn Johnson. Shakiri with the assists for both goals, I think. But come on, Agnew tried to get us back into it. We had loads of chances at the end. We just couldn't sort of find our way past Jack Butland. What a player. What a player. Jack Butland, not Glenn Johnson. Now for our game up against FC Bosnian. And as you can see, Griezmann is starting alongside my second team. He hasn't been my first team player for a few matches now. And that's because Griezmann, Greasy Greaves, has not been living up to his bloody price tag. 42 million I spent on him, near enough the same amount I spent on Bale, Salvio I spent 10 million on and he's doing better than Griezmann right now. Griezmann's playing up top though, he's got Wilshere sitting behind him, we've got El Nini and Shaka in the middle, Shaka's not doing as good as well, he's in my second team, Salvio and Walcott playing on the wings, we've got Gibbs, Mertesacker, Gabriel and Debussy at the back, our spin is playing in goal, hopefully we can still pick up a win against Barza with my second team, because we need our first team ready and fit. For the game against Chelsea, which is coming up next. Brilliant tackle from Mertesacker, he's proven to be good. Roche into Griezmann, come on Griezmann, use your pace if you've got any left. Oh, he's cut in, it's Greasy Grease! What the hell man? Come on Griezmann! Oh, what a tackle though from Roche, into the middle, Elneny. Elneny's got space, he's also got Greasy Grease! Who goes straight at the keeper, Vachlik with another save. Here's Jovino. Former Arsenal man finds Zoffi. Oh, that's beautiful. Beautiful interception. Griezmann into Shaka. Hasn't done anything for us since joining Shaka. Into Griezmann, who hasn't done anything either. Ref! Come on, man. He's rolling around on the floor, literally waiting for me to walk into him. You can't let that one slide, ref, and you give that one. That was just pure strength. Come on, get this out. Oh, my God, they nearly found a goal. Ospina coming to the rescue there for Arsenal. We've been woeful this game. Look at that for a header. Look at that for a save. Come on, Ospina. Quick throw. Bang. What a throw. Lucas Perez into Griezmann. Get me some support. Down that right-hand side. Salvio. He's taking on Grigori. Go straight past. Ref! Yes! About time! He's had to give that one after not giving the other one. Surely that's going to be at least a yellow card there. Or maybe even a red. It's a yellow. Salvio has gone down in the box, but who's going to be taking the penalty? We'll have to wait and see. I swear to God, if you miss this, Griezmann, he's stepped up. But can he put it in the back of the net? Come on, Griezmann. Come on. Greasy Griezmann, there we go. That is actually how you take a penalty. That is a first-class penalty. World-class penalty. And he's put it in the back of the net. Easy for Griezmann, but he can't do it on the pitch. And that's worrying for me, considering it cost me 42 million. Maybe Iwobi and Perez has been the players that have made the difference. We won't know. We'll never know. But one thing is for sure, something has made a difference to Arsenal. As we charge forward, here goes Griezmann. Another penalty. And just like that, we might be 2-0 up in the Champions League. Within two, 10 minutes, we've won two penalties. Near enough in the same position and the same kind of tackle as well. It's another yellow card. For FC Basel. Where's Griezmann going to put this one now? He's proving he could put penalties in. But can he do it on the pitch? What a penalty, mate. He's got that accuracy under control. 2-0 Arsenal against FC Basel. Not the best results considering two of them came from penalties. Both goals. But what penalties from Griezmann? Here comes Basel. And Bolo's come onto the pitch. I thought I actually sub, um, transferred him to Schalke. Obviously not, and he scored himself a goal, bringing them to 2-1. I've gifted him that. Look at this. I don't know what he was thinking with the ball over the top. I've literally headed it straight into his path. 2-1. Come on, Perez. You're fresh, man. 
should be catching that and it's come to full time. Gibbs could have ended it with a long shot. But no. We've won the game 2-1. Could have been 2-0. Probably argue we should have scored other goals or other chances that we got. But we couldn't put them into the back of the net. But yeah, it's a good win. 2-1 against Basel. We still get three points in the league. I did make sure Chelsea didn't have European football this season as well as Liverpool and other teams as well. So Chelsea are going to probably feel the first team, a very good first team. So that's exactly what I'm doing. I'm playing well back up top instead of Griezmann this time though. We've also got Bale playing right wing, Sanchez in the left wing position, Ezil Kazola and Ramsey in the middle, Koscielny, Mustafi, Bellerin and Monreal at the back. Check playing in goal. Griezmann is on the bench. He could make a difference from the bench as a super sub. I'm going to try it. If it doesn't work, Griezmann could probably start. It depends on what Wildback plays like. Crossing maybe to the far post, it's punched away by Courtois, only as far as Bale, into the middle, it's Ozil on his right foot though, not his left, and we could have actually got ourselves an early goal, oh go on Bale, oh there's a ball on the top one, over to Danny, Danny Welbeck with a beautiful run on his left foot, and that is what Danny Welbeck does for us, I've done it before, it's just those runs, look at that run, he makes those runs possible and those balls possible. And what a goal from Danny Welbeck. Go on, check. Long throw, mate. Good long throw. Bale. Ozil back to Bale. Welbeck is making that run again. That is what I'm talking about right there. Those little runs that Welbeck make, makes. And he's gone for goal and Courtois with the save. Is it going for a corner? It is. Here we go, Cazorla to take the corner. Try to get an out swinging one. And it's too close to Courtois. Oh, he's left it. Oh, it's off the post. No! Here's Ozil to Sanchez. Support from Danny Welbeck. He's held his man off well and won the ball back as well. Bellerin played forward. Ozil, Cazorla. Cazorla's got Danny Welbeck in the middle. Danny Welbeck has made an ecstatic run. Why is he, why is he at Arsenal? Why did United sell him if he's going to make runs like that? In FIFA, I don't know about real life. He was a good player. I don't know why United sold him. His injury has just had a better of him in real life. But Wildback is a revelation under Sonny, mate. Bellerin throw was all for the long option. And then played into Bale. Lovely down the right-hand side. Come on, Wildback. Cut it back. Cut it back. Into Danny Wildback on his hat-trick. Terry and Courtois, the combination, makes a difference there at the back. They've kept him out. Making sure he can't get himself an hat-trick. Look at that hand from Courtois. The off-putting, you can call it, from John Terry. Good little partnership. Alexis... Looks for the long ball forward, finds him as well. Ozil has got Danny Welbeck with the run again. Danny Welbeck cuts inside. He's on a hat trick, Welbeck. Don't expect him to pass. What? I was going to say we've not seen him put a foot wrong, but Danny Welbeck has missed from point blank, you could call it. I probably should have went for finesse. I went for power into the top corner. He's put it wide. Oh, I thought I was going to win the ball there. It's come to full time. We've won the game and picked up a clean sheet once again. The defenders are playing great. The strikers are playing okay. Danny Welbeck is playing better than everyone. Those runs and the balls over the top are obviously proving to be some, a huge factor in his goals. And the balls playing through, the through balls. But Danny Welbeck, mate, those runs. I don't even have to press LBA for those runs. He's making them all on himself. Two goals for Welbeck. Thought he was on for a hat-trick at a time. I know I said I don't really care about the Capital One Cup, but it's because of the rivalry between Manchester City and Arsenal. I've put out a big team for this game. We've got Wildback playing up top, Gareth Bale playing right wing, Sanchez playing left wing. We've got Griezmann in camp, Kazola and Wilshere in the middle of the park, Koscielny and not Mustafi. I'm going to bring in Mertesacker for some reason in this game. Bell Bellerin at the back as well, and we're going to take out Monreal for Gibbs. Actually, let's give a break 
to Sanchez as well and bringing Theo Walker. He can come off the bench if we need him. Our speeder in goal and it's literally like a first team slash second team out there because in the next game we've got Leicester City and I want to use the other half of the first team and the other half of the second team. But let's get into this Man City game and let's try and win this game. We go Wilshire straight away. Let's try get an attack going. Bellerin into the middle. Bale out to Griezmann. Cazorla has got support in the middle from Griezmann on his left. Ooh, that was close. He's playing in that camp position just behind Welbeck. Maybe he's going to prove to be a huge player in that position and not his strike. He's already got a chance as he's nearly hit the target. Oh, no. There we go, Wilshere. Oh, that's a good ball as well into Gareth Bale. Takes on Clichy. Goes like him. Goes past him like he's not even there. He does the same to the centre back. It's Gareth Bale. Oh, my God. It's just gone wide. I thought I'd go for goal after that inviting glance. Whew. That was close for Bale. He's gone past two of them. Here's Bellerin. Might be able to play that down the right. Go on, Bale. Loads of space down the right. Clichy's playing catch-up right now. John Stones has come to help him out. We're going to play that into the middle. Bellerin can play it back as well. Bang! And that is what Theo Walcott brings to the game. He scored some beauties. He scored some decisive goals. And once again, he might have done it again. Bale with a good run. Played into Bellerin. Bellerin with the assist. Lovely goal from Walcott. I thought it was Griezmann arriving. That's why I played it in. But if Walcott could do that, then why is Griezmann even here? £42 million pounds down the drain. Here we go, Gibbs. Let's look for a second, lads. El Nenny. Playing into the middle. Perez. Perez on his left foot. Caballero with a huge save again for Manchester City. He's kept them in this game. Caballero. We should be 2 or 3 nil up by now. David Silva. And no, it's full time. That is it. Manchester City lose 1 nil to Arsenal in the Capital One Cup. Yes, we had half a first team out there, but only half of our first team. Imagine this. Imagine you have a full cake, yeah? Split that cake down the middle, chuck half in the bin. What are you going to do with the other half, mate? You're going to fucking eat it, ain't you? So that's exactly what I've done. Use half of it. That, that was the scrap example. Here we go. Are my boys ready to play Leicester City, last season's champions? In the Premier League, we've got Danny Welbeck starting ahead of Griezmann once again. Ozil coming in in camp. We've got Bale and Sanchez on the wings. Cazorla and Ramsey in the middle of the park. Kashaldi, Mustafi, Bellerin and Monreal at the back. Check coming back in goal. Come on, lads. We're looking to win against the champions of last season. Can we beat Leicester? Let's go do some B's and E's. Great run from Bale. Wildback still in the middle here. Here goes Bale into Wildback. Finish that Wildback. What? Zyla is unreal. That's why they've got him in instead of Kasper Schmeichel. What a save. Wildback should have been finishing from there though. It was near enough an open goal. Kozola plays it into Bellerin from long shots. He is a beast. Zyla once again with another big save. Two saves within two minutes. Come on, check. We're going to go for a quick break here. Bale, played forward. Erzil can look over the top for Danny Welbeck. We know he likes to do those runs. Danny Welbeck played forward to Sanchez. Sanchez still on the ball. Sanchez still on the ball. Sanchez going to have a pop. Welbeck, that is what he does. He pops up in those areas. Danny Welbeck gets himself a rebound goal after Sanchez missed the target, hitting the defenders. It's been blocked after a lovely cut run there. Look at that. He's just gone he's squared across. Bang, hit the defenders, falls to Wild, but lovely control into the back of the net. It's 1-0 Arsenal again. Throw that out, long throw check. 
That's what I'm talking about. Our lovely flip from Griezmann a while back. Could we get a run going here, Sanchez? Danny Simpson's still on him. Might have enough pace to get past him, though. Here goes Alexis. Into the box, maybe, for Danny Welbeck. He's missed it. Completely. Oh, it's ended up in their net. And Alexis Sanchez is claiming it's never going to be his goal. That's an own goal from Inlet. What's going on there? Danny Simpson in the way. They're going to get another chance here. Leicester into the box. Don't know what he was thinking there. His fush, though. Another chance. Inlet off the crossbar. What a chance for Leicester to pull a goal back. It's going to come to full time there. Last touch of the game goes to Kowalaglu. As he came on as a late substitute for Wildback. Just to make sure Wildback didn't get injured, to be honest. But a 2 0 victory, nevertheless. Wildback with the first goal. Another own goal for Inle. Another one. Maybe he scored another one. I don't know. But it should be in the minuses now. Should be in the minuses. But Danny Wildback in great form right now. Let's get straight into that last game of the episode which we will be simming in the Champions League. Hopefully we pick up a win. All right, so the last game of the episode is going to be simulated. PSG lead our table at the moment. We want to go ahead of them in the group stage. We want to finish first. Hopefully we can pick up a win. We've got Debussy out there holding Mertz, Saka and Gibbs at the back. Chaka Elneny in the middle. Salvio Walker on the wings. Wilshere and Griezmann up top. Gent score first, but then again, they have got a red card just before it. They're down to 10 men. Simon gets the goal in the fifth minute. Bang! We managed to salvage a goal. Salvage two even and salvage three points from the game. Monreal came on and scored as well. 88th minute goal. Salvio got a goal as well. 2-1 Arsenal. It's a good result. Nevertheless, we got three points. That's 2-2-1 two, two, victories in our Champions League group stage. Arsenal are at the top of the league by one point. One point between us, Manchester United and Stoke. And then between everyone else, it's like four or five points. But yo, our next game is against Manchester United. That could be a huge one. A huge one. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below who you guys want me to sign and sell in the January transfer window. We have been looking at right-back, centre mids, strikers. We've been looking at everything. Griezmann isn't performing. Shall I sell him on and maybe bring Lacazette in instead of him going to Atletico Madrid and me bringing Griezmann to Arsenal for 42 million? It's not worth that. He hasn't shown he's worth that anyway. Shall I sell him on? Let me know in the comment section below. But for now, it has been me. You guys have been great. As always, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Smash that like button down below for that free orgasm. And I'm out. Peace. Rah.